If you have a commercial driver's license, a CDL, and you've been charged with driving under the influence, then you're facing some very serious consequences. I mean, any, any DUI carries some tough penalties with it, but as a commercial driver, uh, there, there are some especially tough penalties, and your very livelihood is at risk. As you know, uh, being a CDL holder, you're held to a higher standard, right? For your driving, your driving record, your safety, uh, they, make it, they make it much tougher on CDL holders in the court system. Anything from traffic tickets to logbook violations and certainly DUIs are all dealt with pretty harshly. Uh, for instance, if, if you're a commercial driver and you're driving your commercial vehicle and you've been charged with, with DUI, the, the threshold, the, the, the standard of proof they've got to show to convict you of driving under the influence is a lot lower. For an ordinary uh, non-commercial driver in their own vehicle, uh, the, the blood alcohol concentration is 0.08%. That's the standard level in just about every state, 0.08. Okay. Now, if you're a commercial driver and you're in your commercial vehicle, if you're in, if you're in your truck, and in Tennessee, if you're, you've been charged with DUI, all they've got to show is a 0.04 percent, half as much. It's only half the legal level compared to non-commercial drivers. So it is a it is a much lower standard they've got to prove. In other words, it makes it a lot easier for them to prove that you were driving under the influence. Now that's, that's if you're driving your commercial vehicle, okay? If you're a, if you're a commercial driver and you're in your own vehicle, uh, it's the 0.08% that applies to everybody else. So it's only if you're driving your commercial vehicle. That's one example, okay? But even if you are in your, your personal vehicle, not in your truck or your commercial vehicle, you're still looking at some tough penalties just because you're a CDL holder. For instance, as a CDL holder, if you're convicted, you're going to lose your CDL for one year in Tennessee, period. If you have a Tennessee CDL, you get convicted of driving under the influence, no matter what vehicle you're driving, you're going to lose your CDL for one year and you cannot get any kind of restricted CDL. There are no exceptions around that, okay? For a, for a non-commercial driver, uh, what we call a Class D license here in Tennessee, okay, uh, conviction for DUI, you can, get, you can get your restricted license or have an interlock device placed in your vehicle and be able to drive for one year. But you are going to lose your commercial license for one year if you are convicted, period. You can get, you can get your non-commercial Class D license but you can't get your CDL if you're convicted. And of course, you're very likely going to get terminated any, anyway by your company if, you've, uh, if you get convicted or maybe even if you simply get arrested. So as you can see, you know, being a CDL holder, you're, you're held to a higher standard and, and there are some really tough penalties involved when it comes to um, drug driving charges. Uh, no matter what, no matter what car you were in, most most of my clients, most cases that you see, it is the driver, the client in his or her own vehicle. But again, it's the license, and not just the car that you were driving. It's the license, and if you hold that CDL, the bottom line is you have a lot to lose. So what you need to do, if you've been charged uh, in the Memphis area here in West Tennessee, call me. I'm an experienced DUI attorney. Thanks for watching.